telephone conversation between President Johnson and Senator James Eastland on November 29, 1963, at 7.03 p.m. <laughs> I wouldn't have it. Here's what I'm going to announce in a few minutes, and I want to... The President announced he's appointing a special commission study of all facts and circumstances relating to the assassination of the late President and the subsequent violent death of the man charged with the assassination. The President stated the majority and minority leaders of the Senate and House of Representatives have been consulted with respect to the proposed special commission. The members of the special commission are Chief Justice Warren, Senator Richard Russell, Senator John Cooper, Representative Hale Boggs, Representative Gerald Ford, Honorable Allen Bellis, Honorable John J. McCloy. Now, we had, to, All right. we had to have a justice, and then I wanted to have the head of the CIA committee in the Senate that controls all the money and that they report All right. to. All right. I thought I'd get the Cooper because he'd had the international experience because this Russian thing's getting in it. I got Boggs. He's been talking over there, and Ford handles the money on appropriations, and then Dulles is ex-CIA, and John McCloy help it from an international standpoint a little bit. It I gives us... Prove it if you put Harlan on that instead of Warren. Well... Warren made a political his eulogy of Kennedy was political. Yeah, but I've got to get a I've got to get the top one and he's the chief. Well I that's true. That's true and he none of them ought to do it, but I've got to do it and you've got to protect my flank over in the Senate now. I'll do that. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.